So here we go then. Fourth match of five today. And this is the PlayStation Under-14 Schools Cup for Boys between Barnfield West Academy and Cardinal Heenan Catholic Sports College. Sonny Hilton. Hilton now. Crosses into the box. Could be an early chance here for Cardinal Heenan. For then number nine, Ronan McCall. Hoofed away. And now, Barnfield West on the counter attack with Marnus Goldborn. Goldborn gone past one player and another, and he's going to go all himself. He's got a man in the, in the box who wants to use him. He does try to use him, but it's intercepted. But still back with Marcus Goldborn. And they win the corner for their efforts. Yeah. Marcus Goldborn doing really, really well there, wasn't it? Pushed through, ran from the halfway line, beat a couple of players and wasn't selfish, tried to release the ball to his colleague. Goldburn with the corner, up towards the near post. O'Mahony collects, sends it back to Goldborn, up the back post with the number nine, Silas McQueen. Look at Cornell. He's going to have a dink at this with his left boot. Trying to send this into the box. Glorious sunny day now here at the Majeski. And a good ball it is too. Plenty of blue shirts in there. And it's an chance and an early goal for Carl Mohenan. And it's Lewis O'Donnell who has found the back of the net. The Carl Mohenan number 12. It was a superb ball by Luca Cornell into the box. Plenty of red shirts were forward on this. And, oh, and it's Lewis O'Donnell who's the one who got his boot into the net. Well, it's a great finish. He's got to be uh, quick and alert and alive to the, uh, the ball just falling into his path. Pollard sending it downfield. Another chase is on between Seisman and Prosper. Prosper won that battle. May not have won the wall though, as it is a Cardinal Heenan throw in the corner. Cross comes in, could be a chance here for Cornell! 2 0! Look at Cornell, unmarked at the back post. Carnal Heenan double their lead. And it's the captain, Luca Cornell. He set up the first, he scored the second. Carnal Heenan double their lead, 2-0. Yeah, great goal, wasn't it? As we see the replay here, great work from Ronnie McCall. Sweeps the ball across, you think the opportunity's gone, but it's Luca Cornell coming in at the far post, timed his run to perfection and Puts them 2-0 ahead and there's the coach of Cardinal Heenan and Ian Forgey, delighted with, with that. Got to say they hadn't really looked a threat since their goal in the opening minutes. <laughs> well, it could be a chance here for Barnfield West to try and get something at the end of this first half. The reason I was just chuckling along because the, the Barnfield West supporters are booing the Cardinal Heenan substitutes as they warmed up <laughs> down, down, down below us. There they go again. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Players cupping their ears to them. And... <laughs> <laughs> They're milking it, bless them. <laughs> uh, that was great work, wasn't it? Out on that right side, swept it with his left foot. And again, hitting it low and hard across the keeper. Got hands to it. Held up well. Really good ball. Tried the... <laughs> Who was it? Tried the overhead or the sort of spec going to find that uh, lonely task up there. They've got the early goal, Cardinal Heenan, but it looks like they're happy to sit back with four or five in midfield. And obviously the emphasis on Barnfield West to take the initiative. And they may do, oh. and needed that header there. And a good take that was from Rollo and Tully, and they needed the head there from Jay Chandler. Otherwise, Mwando Bonda was in there at the back post. In the meantime, Cardinal Heenan now. Trying to launch the counter attack. And Lahani Henriques, the Banfield West captain, puts the ball out for a throw in with Cardinal Heenan inside the Banfield West half. Got the ball. Slightly risky thing that he attempted, but in the end, he released a really good ball down this uh, left hand channel. Oh. Oh, oh, and Hilton could be in here. Oh, he could push off the ball. Referee flags straight away. And. Kyron Canny could be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, it should be a booking, shouldn't it, really? Don't know what he does at this level, but 
knew exactly what he was doing. Slip, lost the ball. Here we have a replay. You'll see yep. they get themselves in a bit of a muddle. The ball bounces and then he pushes him, shoves him and concedes the free kick, which he knows he's happy to concede, but picks up a yellow card for his troubles. Indeed he does, Kieran Canny in the book. He's quick as well, isn't he, Kieran Canny? A couple of times we've seen his pace get himself out of trouble. Now, what can Luca Cornell do whip, here? Whip up this time. He's been told by the coaching staff to go for something. And he's gone for the goal, and but in fact, there's a little bit, little bit, of, little bit of talk we're going on here. Well, he's delighted with that, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Marcus Gilborn. A little bit of chat back to the referee with the looks of things. So he's going to be re he have another go at this. Carbon copy, or is this one going to be put onto the penalty spot? Oh, oh, well. Wow. That's one to forget, Luca. Yeah, just looking down at Ian Forgy, the coach. They've got to push for bodies forward. They've got to commit forward. I think it's Kieran Canny who's going to move up front. Is he no? Well, it looks like, well, well he's, he's got the height to do so. He's got the pace as well, but I think it's sort of a roll of the dice that well, the like Phil West Coast coach has got to take. Playing a bit like a, a 5-3-2 at, yeah. at the moment, and uh, Barfield West. To make sure they're not going to let in any more goals, this is Goldburn. Excellent challenge. And now, it's a 4-on-4 four four all of a sudden. Hilton sending it forward. Picked up by Ashley Blythe. Good strong tackle there from Chad Harnick. He made sure he timed that one correctly. Hilton. Luca Cornell. Cornell into the box. He can finish the game here. It's a jump opportunity and a goal for Sonny Hilton. 3-0 to Cardinal Heenan. And that should be that. That should be the game over. Well, that's a demonstration of a the way in which Cardinal Heenan have outsmarted this Barnfield West Academy team, really. Luca Cornell takes up that position. He holds his position out wide, takes his time. He gets the ball fed to him, beats the player and has the wherewithal around him. Sends to pick out Sonny Hilton in the middle of the pitch and he's still got to finish it. And doesn't he do it well with a nice little volley? Neat and tidy, everything everything neat and tidy about that. It makes it look simple. But I think that's probably game, set and match to Cardinal Heenan. It's where they've just got to be careful they don't do any showboating or silliness. There, there he is. Good. Cardinal Heenan Catholic Sports College are the winners of the PlayStation Under-14 Schools Cup for Boys. A comprehensive victory by three goals to nil against Barnfield West Academy. And in all fairness, it was, with respect, a very one-sided affair. No, it was very comfortable, but, you know, they had to put the work in to achieve that. And thoroughly deserved victory. 3-0, comfortable scoreline, but they... Uh, the thing I liked about it was they came out, they were 2-0 up at half-time. They came out in that second half like a, a bolt out of the dressing room, come out 100%. You saw that with the first kick-off. They chased the ball down and they worked hard and they went to go and get that third to kill the game completely. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, right throughout, from the first whistle to the, to the end of the game, it's a deserved victory. It's a performance they can be really proud of. And it's just one of those days where the Barnfield West hasn't turned out right. Bitterly disappointed for them. I know the feeling they'll be going through, wandering around the pitch, seeing the celebrations of the, the opposition. Never a nice feeling, but, you know, they've got to learn from that. Now I'm joined by Matt Slater, the Barnfield West coach. Matt, commiserations didn't happen for your guys today. No, no real arguments, to be fair. Uh, they're a very strong team, uh, Cardinal Heenan. You can see why they've been in the final last couple of years. I mean, we've got three or four lads that don't even play football outside the school, so to get this far, it's all credit to them. So, no, there's not one bad word against any of my players in there, none of them. No, full pr really, really proud for them. All the credit sort of goes to, to my lads as well, but they're, for a school football team, they're very good. Fair play to them. One thing must be said, you must be proud of your team's efforts and, and their season as a whole. 
Yeah, it's been great. I think we've scored something like 83 goals and conceded about four getting here. Uh, so we've had a good run, good few matches. Uh, it's just one step too far today. No, they were a little bit too good for us and no arguments on that really. So. One thing must be said though, you came on the support travelled with you. Credit to them. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got we've got a good bunch. We've got a good bunch at our school. Um, no, we, we can take them out of Luton, but the, the Luton stays with them. They're always uh, they're always quite loud and like to uh, like to be heard. But yeah, they were uh, they were great. So it was good. Fantastic, Matt. Commiserations. Your yeah. team played well. No problem. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Ian Foggy, many congratulations. Thank you very much. A perfect performance, all in all. It was a, it was a good performance. I thought at the first half we were a little bit sloppy, we were a bit slow with the with the ball, releasing the ball and picking our passes, but second half was much better and when the game opened up a bit, they took a few more chances. I thought we exploited the space an awful lot. And I can't credit the boys enough for the endeavour. You know, it's a big pitch and they've covered every base of glass today and they've been outstanding, so very, very proud. And after the third time we've been in National Cup, there's only been three National Cups they could enter and they've been in the final in all three, won two and lost one last year on penalties here. So more than proud, honestly, it's outstanding. You impressed John Scales in the stands, uh, a number of players he picked out, Luca Cornell especially and Tom Williams at the back. Yeah, two no, proper talisman performances. Oh, no, different, honest to God, different class. I mean, Sonny Hilton deserves a special attention because all season he has been absolutely a different class. And Luca and Tom, um, it didn't quite happen today, although he scored. Um, Tom Willow, I thought, at the back was clearly man of the match. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. There was nothing that got past him, nothing went through. And everything he did was solid, confident and assured, so outstanding. What's the future for these lads? Um, if they start behaving in school a little bit better, it's a bright future. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if we just, you know, they're all, I think I've got eight boys or nine boys at academies, um, and they're all work, they all work hard on the football. And as you can see, they're very proud of the football, and you know, they, they, they don't lose easily. I think in the three years I've had them, I think we've lost two games, three games in total. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a couple of them who could go on to professional contracts. What level? We'll see. Hopefully with a bit of luck, it'll be the top level. We do wish them well, and as do we wish you well. Congratulations. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.